How do people approach migrating existing AWS infrastructure into Terraform for large scale projects with lots of resources? So um, were you on the call, I think last week and even the week before, uh, a tool came up a couple times just to put that out there. And I'm not saying this is the right answer, but uh, for these kind of like forklifting into Terraform kind of situations, Google has a project called Terraformer. Yeah, which, so I recommend that one. I've actually used it quite, quite a bit. And, and this is the equivalent of disassembly, disassembling an application uh, and managing it that way is to infrastructure what Terraformer is. It's going to generate a bunch of Terraform code. It's going to represent exactly what you have there. It's going to let you start massaging that with your Terraform code. Is it the way you would have written the Terraform code as an engineer or developer? Hell no. Uh, and I don't know which one of those problems uh, you're tasked with solving. I actually was trying a Terraformer like oh, you were. an hour ago. And uh, it sounds like the same concept, but it would have uh, need a lot of factoring and all of A lot of love. Yeah, yeah, but still, like, if it's actually working, I, it didn't really work out uh, for me the the first time I tried it. But uh, I would try it for sure. But I was uh, looking for other ideas, like how do people uh -huh. have, uh, so what project without Terraformer? So one feature that I think is not obvious in Terraformer that I discovered a bit later is its um, support for a, a, a plan. Have you used that, uh, Because uh -huh. I found that that allows you to right off the bat, uh, choose names for your resources. Otherwise, you end up with these complicated names that it, to, that it builds for you, right? Um, and I found that to be quite a bit better. So you, like you get it to generate your resources, it comes up with a plan, and then you name things. And then when it actually imports them, it'll use the names you told it to. And that, that mm -hmm. set things up for me quite a bit. So you actually like uh, you you uh, text replace inside the plan.json file, or use JQ or something. Yeah, you, there's there's a section in the plan where things are named, and then you you replace those uh, okay. with actual names you want, and then um, yeah, yeah it'll, it'll be a lot lot better. Is this a is this a bona fide Terraform plan, or is this a Terraformer plan? No, it, it's a Terraformer plan. I, I oh, okay, it, gotcha, you know, gotcha. In detail, but I remember that it, so it has a number, of, a, a bunch of metadata that it needs to keep track of initially, yeah. and uh, okay. then you can store that away after. But, that makes sense. So it's their own JSON schema. Yeah, uh, for this plan. Sure, yeah. That's good advice. Uh, the other cool thing that was brought to my attention was I didn't realize how many data sources it supports. Uh, AWS, GCP, Datadog, Ops, Genie, and the list goes on. So, uh, can... yeah, and the thing is, like, uh, when I saw your formula, like, uh, can you please go uh, up to the part for? Uh, oh, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, look yeah. at all that. Yeah. Yeah, if you choose, for example, AWS. Yeah, here. So you would see all of the services that they support, and I think every single service that they so that they would like to support, they would have to write their own wrapper for that. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's uh, it's a, a labor of love, and you can only you can imagine the person who wrote this initially, like they had to solve it, you know, for their immediate problem. But is this an ongoing problem that you have, uh, and you don't? I mean, so. The users who use this kind of product uh, have very, uh, you have really high churn on open source adoption for a project like this and constantly uh, need to solicit more support and help. So, Yeah, I mean, if, if you're in a position where you have to pull that in, it's, you're, you're, it's kind of terrible. But if you don't really have any choice, like I'm, I'm looking at a situation right now where at least with Terraformer, if I've got something pulled in and, and it's in a we've got a lot of things we just need to clean up, right? So if we if we delete something and we make a mistake, we can always go back and fix it now that we at least have uh, have code for it, you know. But it definitely needs refactoring. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and there's another use case, like uh, I have a project where um, they're still using OpsWorks, right, in AWS. And um, uh, so they have like a stack that's completely manually created 
uh, with OpsWorks, through OpsWorks, um, it, like it takes a couple of days to stand up a new stack. Lots of manual steps, it's awful. Um, so at some point I, you know, bit the bullet and convinced them that, you know, let's terraform, I is that thing. It'll still be OpsWorks, but at least all the configuration is in Terraform, right? And yeah. so Terraformer was, uh, was uh, uh, really helpful uh, with that, at least to get to a, a starting point. I could see where I'm being thrown in the deep end uh, in some enterprise environment and asked to Terraform this stuff. And like being a programmer and being a Terraform expert, I would rather look at the HCL code than I would look in the uh, AWS UI and try and untangle the mess that's there. So. Yeah, exactly. I, I'd rather have it. I'd rather have it something I can could put in code. Yeah. About like uh, for the problem that it took uh, more than two days uh, to deliver the infrastructure. Now with Terraform, it would take like ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. Once you get to that point, uh, but it could take yeah. a little bit of uh, iteration. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Once you're beyond that, you can create new stacks in like half an hour, right? It's whatever amount of time AWS takes to. Yeah, provision their resources. It's, it's awesome. So Andrew uh, Grube in the uh, Zoom chat men mentions that he actually tried to use this tool as well to create a template for their ECS clusters, task definitions, auto scaling rules, etc. But it doesn't support anything past the cluster. It won't provide any of the other things that he mentioned. So it sounds like it wouldn't help with the task definitions, auto scaling rules, etc. So. That's interesting. Let's see here. What we, if, uh, just to cross check that here for ECS. Sorry, uh, but it, it did work really, really, really well. Okay. Just to let you know. <laughs> okay. So you, you felt you got the value out of it in the end. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's cool. A bit on the side of that, but like I, I used Cloud Mapper usually when I start, like if I'm given a, a like an AWS account, which I know nothing about. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, uh, Cloud Mapper. Yeah, yeah. I agree.